Jane Goodall made a name for herself teaching the world about chimpanzees. She immersed herself in their lives, making discoveries about primate behavior that have continued to shape science and the world today. Well, she is now pushing the boundaries of wildlife conservation once again, this time by backing a virtual reality nature reserve. It's called the Wild Immersion, and it's the brainchild of my guest today, Adrian Moisson. Adrian, thanks so much for coming on. Hi, it was wild, cool. wild Immersion, animals and this. Tell us, what exactly. is it? But you know, the idea is really simple. There is a big problem now. Climate change, okay, but animals are disappearing really fast. We are in the sixth mass extension. 60% of species disappeared in 40 years. And we are killing for human consumption more than 2,000 billion animals a year. So when you see this number, it's really frightening. And you can't tell this to anybody because people know it, in fact. But they are like, what can we do? First, you can change. You can become vegetarian or eat less meat. But also, you can wonder. You can tell how beautiful nature is. And that's why we created Wild Immersion, is to teleport people into nature. And like that, you will be surrounded by lions, you will fly with flamingos, you will run with zebra, and you will be really inside wildlife. That's why we created Wild Immersion, like that, with a simple headset and a seat, you can really be with animals. Like, you can't be like that even if you have a lot of money and you take a lot of time, because as it's a small camera, you are really in the middle of the animals. Well, let's talk, talk a bit more about that. I had a chance to do it uh, just the other day in Paris, and it's true. You're in a 360-degree environment. You turn around, an animal pops up behind you. You're below a giraffe. A lion's right up in your face. Talk us through the actual filming. How did you go out to these places and get this up close and personal with animals? In fact, at the beginning, I was a veterinary. And after I made a, a business for a production company for advertising. So I know really well technologies. So I was using drones, I was using 360 camera, and I was using VR headsets since like 10 years. So I knew exactly how to film, but the most difficult was to approach the animals. So we created really little drones who make like almost no noise, like that we can really get closer to the animals, or we are using different kind of um, attraction to, to get the animals. For example, for zebra, it's really difficult because they are really afraid about like lions or this kind of stuff. So they are always watching all around. So we used like eight different cameras in front of water or with uh, like lions, it's really more easy, but you need to run really fast because the first day a lion immediately takes the camera and eat it. So for every species, it's different, but we used like one year to go all around the world and to approach the animals with the help of many people. How was it getting Jane Goodall on board? Did you meet her and show her one of these? Did she even know what virtual reality was? Yeah, but in fact, Jane Goodall is really amazing. She's going all over the world, like more than 300 days a year. She's traveling and saying to everybody, you need to protect nature and you need to do this every day because everybody has an impact and you need to have a positive or a bad impact and when i saw uh, like videos etc i say she meet, she needs to be the godmother of wild immersion so i called her i had a, a phone number by a friend and she said like hey like in eight days, I have 30 minutes in Israel. So I say, I'm coming immediately. <laughs> and I, I went to Israel. I put the headset on her head and she said, oh, it's wonderful. I'm OK to help you. And so she says, like, she's a she's a godmother of the project. And since then, you're carrying on her legacy, taking it into schools. You were telling me even to retirement homes uh, to share these three short films with people. Why? Because I think we need to show this to everybody. In Retirement House, we are working with Villa Beau Soleil in France, and we are going all around France to show to all people how beautiful nature is. And it's really wonderful to see that it was their dream to go, for example, in Africa. They know now that they can't do it, and some of them are almost crying. So it's really beautiful to see that nature is really powerful because there is studies that shows 
when you are in the forest in front of the sea or watching the sunset, you are really more relaxed. And that's what we want to do, is to create some little center in the center of town to relax people, to connect to themselves and to nature. Like that, they will want to protect it. So we have it open in Paris, in Jardin d'Acclimatation, in Pâté, in two Pâté, Beaugrenelle and La Villette. Uh, we have it open in Pâté Zurich. We have it open in Anvers, Helsinki, now in China. We are going in USA in uh, May. And we, are, we want to go all over, all over the world, like to create a kind of fight club for love <laughs> and to really spread the message of how beautiful the nature is and how we can protect it. Adrian, thank you so much for coming in to tell us about that. Adrian Wesson, the founder, the creator of The Wild Immersion that you can check out here in France and soon around the world. Thank you so much. Thank you. And if people want to open Wild Immersion, they contact me and we can open everywhere. It's really easy. <laughs> we got it. Thank you, Adrian.